it feels good to be back. Francis is back from Scotland, and I think I was given what everyone is given before they leave Scotland. No, not a bottle of alcohol, as many of you will say, but I'm given the cold, and it wasn't even cold there. So bear with me, there'll be a few sniffs, a few snivels, but it is really good to be back. Jason's not here, so uh, he obviously picked a good day for him to take his vacation, whatever he's doing, going to watch baseball or something, um, and we will not be able to reunite until Monday, but this is a good day that I want to discuss something very important, and that's Conor McGregor. So McGregor has vowed never to fight in Vegas again, and that throws a large spanner in the works, I believe, for Dana White's future plan. So this is all based on what happened between Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz during the press conference. Here's a little reminder as to the bottle throwing that went on. <laughs> So, uh, since that, Conor McGregor, of course, has been fined, in which he, uh, and Nate Diaz fined as well. And McGregor actually tweeted out that he gets fined more than some UFC fighters make. So, standard Conor McGregor answer to that. But Dana White had this to say, courtesy of Fox on the matter. Uh, Conor McGregor hit me yesterday and said, I don't ever want to fight in Nevada again, ever. Now, does that make sense for the state of Nevada? that you're going to try and to find this kid and Nate that much, mon that much money. It just makes people not want to come fight in our state, and that's not a good thing. Guess what? Conor McGregor doesn't need Nevada, White continued. He can fight anywhere. He can fight in Iowa. We can put this fight on an island off the coast of anywhere. This makes no sense for the state. It's just terrible. So I know Jason did a good video on this where he just simply dismantled the whole argument as to someone could have been, someone could have been hurt. Those water bottles that were flying around with the lids flying off, someone could have been wet. Someone could have been wet. The argument I would have made is some camera equipment would have been ruined. That would have cost a lot of money. So um, we know that they were going to be fined a ridiculous amount because uh, Nevada has the tendency to over-punish for certain things. We've had this discussion in the past. The fact that Nick Diaz was banned for... Uh, two years for smoking weed, uh, although I'm against what he had to do, whatever, like rules are there in place, so we know what we're expecting from Nevada. Yeah, some will say that McGregor needs Vegas, he needs to fight in the big stage in the MGM, but no he doesn't, because we've seen him fill out arenas in Dublin. We will see him fill out this arena at Madison Square Garden, and all of a sudden, that growing atmosphere that we've seen travel with Conor McGregor, all of a sudden doesn't need to travel 11, 12 hours. They just travel six or five hours order to New York. I'm one of those people. I travel back and forth from the UK. All of his fans in Ireland, in the UK, will kind of be happy that if he doesn't want to fight in Vegas, he'll just go to Madison Square Garden. Now, I understand going to Vegas itself is the, is the spectacle, but if you're going to give up the fact that you can walk around with a cup full of liquor or alcohol, whatever, to the fact that you could go to Madison Square Garden, a huge... Uh, arena that is memorable with the fact that there's a huge Irish uh, fan base there already, I think you'll soon realize that Conor McGregor does not need Nevada. So the overarching question to this is what is going to happen with Nevada? Do they perhaps go and do the unimaginable and maybe uh, due to an appeal they don't find him as much? No, I don't see that happening. They're not going to go back on the war because of one athlete. I'm sure Dana White would like to see that. Because as much as he will not let on, yes, he likes the fact that he has all of these major arenas to place Conor McGregor in, to place, place uh, people like Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz in the fight. Will Nate Diaz come out and say that he won't fight in Nevada? I don't think so. Because Nate Diaz, again, he's in it for the fighting. He's in it for the money. He's in it to fight where he can make the most money. And for Nate Diaz, that's pretty close to where he's from, probably pretty close to the audience that travels around the world to watch him. So it is a demographic issue. It is where that audience comes from. And I think that um, Conor McGregor will still do fine making a lot of money in the likes of Madison Square Garden, as with Nate Diaz, to be honest as well. So uh, do I think the biggest losers are going to be in Nevada? 
I think so. I think that state will suffer with someone like a McGregor not wanting to fight there. And I understand how that sounds. It sounds like I'm overhyping this one athlete to have so much power and so much weight in an industry that he can literally just say that he's not fighting in a state and that state suffers in terms of the revenue they generate. Is it going to be to the point that people in Nevada are being laid off because Conor McGregor's not fighting in that state? No, don't be ridiculous. But they will be thinking to themselves, was that a little bit too harsh when they see uh, the revenue that is created from a Madison Square Garden, the revenue that's created when I do think they sell out a football stadium uh, across the pond in Ireland, in the United Kingdom, because I think that is going to happen very, very soon. So let us know what you think. Uh, who's going to come out of this, the sore loser? Is it going to be McGregor not fighting at the MGM arena? Is it going to be Dana White? Is it going to be Nevada? Let us know in the comments, Francis underscore Maxwell, and I'll see you guys.